I'm going to teach you how to prepare your SD card for use on a Pine phone. I know this is pretty simple stuff, but many of you asked for it, so I'm going to give it to you. We're going to show you how to get the files needed for Ubuntu Touch in for Postmarket OS, whether you're on Windows 10, a Mac, or running some version of Linux. So get your Pine phone ready and your micro SD cards, and let's start. The first thing you'll need is to download the root file system or root FS for the operating system you want to use on your Pine phone. For Ubuntu Touch, you will need to go to this here. Now don't worry, I'll post the links in the description so you don't have to search. This page here for Ubuntu Touch will show you the latest build that you can use. Now let me caution you. This file changes pretty much every day since Ubuntu Touch is still not ready for use as a daily driver on the Pine phone. So likely you'll have to repeat this process often for a while. Later on, Ubuntu Touch should be able to update itself using OTA or over the air update process, but they're not there yet. So let's look at what this page is telling us. The image that is flashed into the SD card is the file that ends in .gz. That is a tarball image, which is the way most things are compressed in Linux. If you look to the left, it will tell you what the current build number is, which indicates if there are changes. So just remember to check that if it's newer than a prior download you made before. Right now it says 2.12. At the moment, we'll see a new version every day since Marius at UbiPorts has been very busy with this. Now let's download the GZ file and I'll demonstrate this on Windows 10. This is on Chrome on Windows 10. After downloading it, it should show up on your downloads folder. When this Pine phone goes into production, it will be shared differently. There will typically be a development channel, an edge channel, a release candidate channel, and then a stable channel. When that happens in a few months, I'll update the description of the video with the latest links. Now let's say you want to use Postmarket OS instead. And here's the link for Postmarket OS. You'll see on this page that this is the download list for the Pine phone. Now let me explain what you're looking at here. There are several versions of Postmarket OS and you may have an interest in different ones. Postmarket OS by itself has no responsive interface for a phone. It'll just boot to Linux and just give you a command line. The one that comes with the Pine phone is the one that says factory test. It will just give you a standard Linux install and it will boot to a testing image that can just trigger the device test. There are several images here that load different phone environments. The one from KDE is Plasma Mobile and it is shown here as Plasma. The version that has the Librem 5 work on Fosh is there as well under Fosh. In this release list, I can see that the one with the latest update is the one with the latest compile that includes Plasma Mobile. So we'll try that first. We're going to talk about Windows 10 first. After you download the file, we will show you how to handle this image file and it will depend on your OS. So in this case, we will start with Windows 10. You'll need to get ready with these software packages to download and install. I will place the links for each OS in the description. For Windows 10, you will need 7-zip. You'll also need Win32 Disk Imager, and you may need SD Formatter. Make sure to install these programs before we continue. In my case, they are already installed. In addition, get ready with a micro SD card for this. You will need a 4 gigabyte micro SD card, but those are pretty hard to buy now. The usual minimum size to buy is 16 gigabytes. Next, go to your downloaded image file, whether it be the one from Ubuntu Touch or Postmarket OS. In my case, I'm showing you the one from Ubuntu Touch. And then we will extract the GZ or tarball file. Do this from File Manager like this. Right click on the file and select 7-zip to extract. This will give you an image that you can now burn to an SD card. 
Very important to note that your SD card must be larger than this extracted size. In my case, I'm using an 8GB micro SD card. Mount this on your computer. If you've used the SD card before, you will want to format it first. So I will use SD Formatter. It will not hurt to do this even if you haven't used the SD card before. So in this demo, I will do a format first. Then after formatting, run Win32 Disk Imager. Select the image file that you want to use. Then you should see a different drive letter than where you have your image file. This could be different on your computer. If you have other mounted devices like USB storage devices, you may want to look at the file manager to make sure that the drive letter is not the wrong device. Then when you're ready, you click on write. This will then flash your disk. And when it's done, it will likely bring up errors showing that it can't be read by Windows. Those messages are just fine and you can remove the SD card and mount it on your Pine phone. You are done. Just a couple of differences for Linux and Mac. On Linux or on a Mac, the Tarball program should already be available. So you normally have to just go to File Manager, find the file, and then extract it. The only difference is that the software to flash the disk is Bellina Etcher, which is different from the one used in Windows. You can download Bellina Etcher from here. And there is an SD formatter for Mac. Now, if you want to format on Linux, you're going to have to do it by command line. So that's it. Those are the quick instructions for getting your micro SD card ready for your Pine phone. Again, I'll update the links as we get a more finalized version for the Pine phone in the future. Thank you for watching.